Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Catherine. I'm the blonde in the air. I make videos about affordable as you travel and also affordable as you in the home. Today I'm in San Diego, California and I'm staying at the Lowe's Coronado Bay Resort. And now I'm going to tell you about five different obscure ways to earn points and miles that you don't get by traveling. So number one is answering online surveys. So basically the surveys that you could be taking are based on many different categories and you are helping companies understand their customer market base by doing these surveys. In return, you're getting points miles for different airlines. So what I really care about is getting JetBlue points. So the two platforms that I've used before is Points for Surveys and Jet Opinions. Um, I don't use them anymore, but I will tell you, if you do sign up for um, either of these accounts, you do get 400 True Blue points for signing up. And for Jet Opinions, you can also get 400 JetBlue points just for signing up. Here is an example of points for surveys. I'm in my account and so they show you how much time it takes to do the survey, um, the topic of the survey, how many points you can be getting for doing the survey. So if you don't do any surveys at all, today you can be getting 800 JetBlue points just for making these two accounts, which I think is awesome. And in my opinion, from doing these surveys, um, and like, you know, the thing is that I don't particularly qualify for a lot of the surveys. Um, I think that maybe if I was a little bit older and maybe owned a car or something, I would be qualifying for more surveys. So that's kind of where the downfall of these um, surveys for miles websites is that, you know, if you do not qualify, you don't know until you click on it and answer a few questions and then they tell you, oh, sorry, you're not eligible. I've wasted a bunch of time with that. I have gotten points here and there, 10, 30, whatever. Sometimes they give you just points for, you know, sorry, you're not eligible, but here is something. I think at the minimum, by opening up these two accounts, boom, you get the points. So Number two, eating at participating dining partners. So different airlines like JetBlue um, and et cetera have their own dining kind of website. Basically how this works is that if you want to go out to eat, you put in your location and you have your credit card linked to the account that you created and you're going to be earning additional miles points for your purchases. Um, if you have the JetBlue Plus card or a JetBlue regular card, um, you'll be getting points um, already from using that card. You'll get additional points by going to that bar, restaurant, club, um, by having that card linked through this account. So there's many out there that we have a potential to go to. I like the show map part because I get to actually see where the restaurants are. Okay, so I am somewhere here um, in uh, Coronado Bay. There's no restaurants, obviously, <laughs> that are part of the program um, here where I am because uh, there is uh, nothing besides my hotel. If we go up the road, there are three restaurants, which is nice. That's like the little town um, area of the Coronado City. So getting closer, okay. We have a takeout Mexican restaurant, we have a bakery, and we have a coffee shop. So you can also um, click on them and they're gonna give you a little more information about it. So we have ratings, um, we have like the hours operation, kind of an understanding of how much it costs. So it's an interesting way of um, maybe discovering a new restaurant, but also getting points that you wouldn't have gotten anyway. So different airlines that also offer dining programs, not just JetBlue. Um, if we go here, the points guy made a beautiful article that highlights 10 different programs. And what we have here is the American Airlines, Alaska, Delta, Spirit, JetBlue, like we're talking about, Southwest, United, and there's even hotel dining programs, Hilton, IHG, Marriott, and there's, they're recommending different credit cards that you can pair with these accounts. So I can link this article down below if you want to have more information 
um, I think that's really helpful. So now we know where we gotta go if we want to get some extra JetBlue points by using our card that is linked to our dining account. Number three is listening to hotel offers. So specifically, I have a time in mind where I was calling um, a Hilton hotel in Toronto about my reservation. And at the end of the call, uh, they asked, hey, would you like to listen to an offer? And you know, you can get 500 points. And I thought, all right, fine. Okay, why not? I'll get the points. And um, they transferred me to Hilton Grand Vacations and I talked to them or maybe rather they talked to me about um, joining uh, with their like cool 199 package to go to different places. I want to state that no matter what they end up saying on the phone for the offer, you don't need to accept it in order to get the bonus points that they're telling you about. Um, I think that you know, if you want to actually go through the offer, you can. I ended up doing it. It was a little bit of a scary experience because they are trying to sell you a timeshare. I uh, don't know how else you can get these bonus points uh, besides, you know, being um, someone who stays at hotels and calling. You have to be on the phone to have the offer given to you. They're not going to email you. This is something that's like, eh, you might be targeted, you might not be, but if you are, just listen, get the points, and then get out, basically. Number four is shopping with shopping portals. So American Airlines and JetBlue are two shopping portals that I have accounts with. I know there are other airlines that do this too, but American Airlines specifically, I have done a lot of shopping through and I've gone many miles from doing this method. And it's really cool because if you are already planning on buying things online, you can be stacking your rewards, cash back, points, miles by going through the shopping portal, okay? So let me explain what the shopping portal is. So let's say you want to get furniture. You want to buy some furniture. All right, we go to the home section here and we look that different stores offer different earn rate. You get three miles per dollar, we can get five, four, one, five, six. Um, it depends. Some can even be high as 10, 12. It really depends on what the company is and what's the special promotion. And so if it's, for example, Overstock, they sell furniture and stuff, we want to buy through them. So we have to go through this portal we search for overstock and we click on them. They do also have some offers going on. Maybe there's like a discount, but okay. So we want to go to overstock, we click shop now and look, we're on our way to overstock. So this is the portal action happening. Okay. Right now, American Airlines is registering that we have clicked on this website and they're going to track if we end up buying anything. If we do, we will get three miles per dollar. So now here we're on the website. It's a regular Overstock website, nothing different. The only thing different is that we took the extra step of going through American Airlines to get to the website. Number five, opening up a bank account can earn you points and miles. So the way that I think that it's usually offered to people is that it's targeted through mail. Now I've gotten a bunch of these in the mail from City. So City and American Airlines partnered and that if I open up certain accounts with Citibank, I would be getting a ton of Advantage miles. So Advantage is the loyalty program, American Airlines Advantage. So. I decided not to open up these accounts because I am not able to meet their requirements. For example, like those bill payments. I don't have any actual bills, um, especially when I you know, got the offers. I was a college student, like I don't have bills. I pay for Spotify, but like that's not like a bill, you know what I mean? So even right now, like I'm still living at home. I have no bills to pay. So. Um, this is good for people who do have bills to pay, right? I'm not sure if there are any other banks that do this besides City and American partnering together, uh, but this is just from my experience from me getting the offers, it exists. Um, 
So by looking up online, I searched City Advantage Miles checking account and there are articles talking about, you know, how this used to happen, but these articles were published a while ago, you know, July 2019. We're in 2021 right now, so this is a little out of date and I don't know if this exists. So here on this other website, it says February 2019. Um, I don't know if this exists, but I just want to keep it on your radar that if you are targeted, that it's a good idea if you meet the requirements and you want to actually open the account. It's pretty lucrative to get, you know, 60,000 bonus miles, 40,000. I think that's actually pretty nice just if you can actually handle it. Look what I received in the mail. I got this right when I came home from San Diego. This was on my desk, my mom put it there. So funny, I was just talking about this and I haven't received one of these in so long and then I did actually get one in the mail. So for this offer is to earn 50,000 miles if I open up a checking account. Now let's open this and see what it says. Okay. So I need to open up a checking account by a certain date. I need to spend certain money um, within a certain amount of days. So 750 um, within 60 days. And I also need to make a qualifying bill payment for two consecutive months. And um, let's see what else it says here. Just some of the benefits of having this account. Some extra things here. I don't know, so maybe you can be targeted like I would. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe you'll now open up some new accounts and be on the lookout for some interesting offers your way to get more miles and points. If you found value from this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. You've done all the above. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you and I'll see you in my next adventure.